Number one. Yeah. Who would you like to have dinner with, past or present? Anyone? Anyone. Um. 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 Uh, Donald Trump. No way. Really? Okay. No. Sorry. No editorial We, we should ask questions about that <laughs> answer. I mean, I was like, I forgot this is rapid fire. I need to explain that. Okay. Anyways. All right. Which one? Game of Thrones or Stranger Things? Game of Thrones. Yeah. Me too. What is your favorite? Can I have to expound on that one just briefly? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. I'm a fantasy nut sci-fi. Ah. I'm all fantasy. Got I'm it. fantasy. Anyway. All right. I okay. am too. Actually, I like sci-fi too. Star Wars. I have to say, that fantasy? It, it gets me here and fantasy. there, but yeah. really fantasy is my jam. Oh, I love fantasy. We would we would have been friends in high school. I know. Like the, the <laughs> I know. We would have been the only, <laughs> like, you would have been my only friend. <laughs> <laughs> like, totally. Um, okay, what is your favorite breakfast food? Toast. We totally would be sourdough. <laughs> oh, uh, toast with butter, though. Oh, yeah, um, with yeah. butter. What is your favorite genre of music? Uh, Singer-songwriter. Okay. Yeah. Who was your idol growing up? My mom. Oh. I mean that, it's uh, truly. Yeah. What is your favorite international cuisine? <laughs> French. All right, what is your favorite candy bar? I like candy bars very much. I'm gonna go Big Turk, representing Canada. There you go. I've never heard of it, but of course you, you haven't. Do you have a favorite season? I know you're from Canada, so I am. I am. <clears throat> no, it's not winter. It's certainly not winter. I would say um, fall. Oh. Um, and and I miss it. I miss it. I haven't had it fall. in a long time. Oh, because you're out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, I, yeah. What is your favorite childhood memory? <laughs> That's a rapid fire <laughs> question. <laughs> I have no idea. All right. Did you ever have an imaginary friend? Yes. Oh, oh. many. Whoa. Okay. Yes. And now this is, I have to, tend, yeah, I have to yeah, go on yeah, a tangent. Yeah, yeah. So my best imaginary friend who I'd had for as long as I could remember, as long as I had consciousness, um, I, when I was about eight years old, I went to the water slides with my family, but really I went with her. I mean, like they didn't matter as much to me as going with her. And we were on this water slide and we were having so much fun together. And all of a sudden she leapt off the water slide onto the little grassy knoll beside the water slide. And I went shooting down the water slide going, no, wait. And, and I couldn't get her and I couldn't catch her. And I got to the bottom and I was like, she's still up there. And I went back up and I kept going down. And then it eventually was time to go. And my parents put me in the car and we were driving away from the water slides. And all of a sudden I realized, I left my imaginary friend on that grassy knoll beside the water slide and I was banging on the window going, we have to turn around and we have to go back. I left, I think it was Karen. I don't know what her name oh was. Maybe goodness. let's call her Karen. I left Karen <laughs> at the water slide so we have oh to get God. her, we have to get her. And I never saw Karen again. Oh my goodness, she's still there. Yeah. It's on the grassy knoll. On the grassy knoll the beside the water slide. <laughs> Maybe someone daughter. else found her. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's a... Yeah. We should write that book. Yeah, that, that sounds that's like a, a book, great actually. Book. Oh my goodness, that, that's, all right. See, um, she's a genius. Do you have a favorite animal? Mm, I'm gonna say lions, because I'm a Leo. Ah, let's see. My son's a Leo. Uh, what is your go-to workout? Um, running, push-ups, and sit-ups. Okay. Um, what do you never leave home without? I leave home without something every day. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's the keys oh, to my house. I leave, I'm, every time I leave the house, I gotta go back uh, for something. All right, so something. Um, okay, and you can't answer, I'm sorry, I'm telling you what to say. You, you can't say the wasp. Do you have a favorite superhero? Okay, you can't say the wasp. Can I? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, Ant-Man. Oh, Ant-Man, okay. And I, I mean that, that's not yeah, just yeah. because of my, I really love Ant-Man. Oh, okay. I'm a huge Paul Rudd fan. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite time of day? My favorite time of day is dusk. I mean, dawn is dawn. It's yeah. like that moment where the sun's coming up and the world's quiet oh, and the birds the best. just oh, the best. If I could just live in that time of day all day, well, it would ruin it. Wouldn't also, it? It would I, I wake up with so much energy. Yeah, really early in the morning. Me too. But then by ten o'clock, I have to. <sighs> yeah, that's exactly. And then how you I get am. up at midnight and bright. You're yeah, well, not hero. anymore. Not You're anymore. Hero. Um, okay, have you ever ridden? This is a good one. So random. Have you ever ridden in a hot air balloon? Yes, and Have I almost you. puked. Oh my goodness. I get such bad motion sickness, and that was the worst I've ever uh, experienced. I'm afraid of heights, so. What is your favorite board game? <sighs> um, Crib. Oh. And what are your favorite pizza toppings? These are fun. These are very random. Ham, mushroom, black olive. Okay. Do you have a favorite teacher? I bet you do. Oh, yeah. I really. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say Mr. Gloucester. Mr. Gloucester was my grade seven teacher. He had brown hair, he had uh, blonde eyebrows, and he had a red mustache naturally. Wow, that yeah. is another character. I know, he right should be a there. squicker walker. You know, Mr. Brown is from, from Wonder is actually based on my high school English teacher. Really? Yeah. Well, Papa the Proud similarly has different colored hair. He has a blonde mustache right. and he's got kind of reddish it. brown hair. So, Do you like movie popcorn with or without butter? Without. Who is your favorite author? That's impossible to I answer. Know. So, instead of answering who is my favorite author, I will say who is my favorite current adult fictional author. Oh, I'd love to know that. Who? Yeah, Who? it's Steve Toltz. He's so little known, he's an Australian author. He wrote a book called A Fraction of the Whole, mm -hmm. and he followed it up with a second book. He's only written two books ever. A Fraction of the Whole is a masterpiece. Go buy it it's now. a masterpiece. I would <clears throat> give my left arm to write like Steve can write. Wow, yeah. okay, Steve Toltz. Toltz, good to know. T-O-L-Z. And the last question, who has impacted you the most? Period? Question mark. My mom. Great. Well, I guess that's well, it. Well, my parents, really, both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 22 questions in two minutes. There we I go. thought there was one that was, I thought you were, you were, I heard you kind of running through them, like looking at what yeah. they were earlier. I thought there was one that said, what's your secret snack? And I was ready. I was like, I know my secret snack. It's licorice. Uh, oh, well, there you go. That's 23 questions. All kinds uh, of licorice. I love licorice.